perspective today, I am going to be talking about my favorite soccer player, Pele. Uh, Ayan, can I stop you for a minute and ask you to press the present button on your slides? So... I am. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. There you go. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ayan. Okay. Pele Orai, the king of soccer. Pele is the greatest soccer player of all times. Pele is fondly known as Pele Orai or Pele, the king of soccer. Pele was born on October 23, 1940. Pele's birth name was Edson Arentes do Nascimento. He had one brother and one sister. Pele's family was poor. He played soccer on the streets of Brazil and his dad was a soccer player too. When, Pele's, when Pele was little, his father got injured in a soccer match, so he could not work. As a child, Pele had to shine shoes to make money for his family. Pele played with a ball made out of socks for fun. In 1950, Brazil soccer team reached the World Cup Finals against Uruguay. The match happened in Brazil. At that time, Pele was 10 years old. Brazil came so close to winning the World Cup Finals, but they lost to Uruguay by 2-1. to one. It was a very sad time for Brazil. Everyone was quiet. There was complete silence in the streets of Brazil. Pele saw that his father was crying and very sad about Brazil's loss. So Pele, so Pele, it was then Pele said to his father, don't be sad, I will win a World Cup for you. I loved making this slide on Wixie Storyboard and I want to show you this Pele famous bicycle kick. So he so every I keep on trying it and I f always fall on my bottom. <laughs> so I also want to show you this pic precious picture of Pele's childhood friends. They played soccer with they played soccer barefoot and also they played it in the streets of Brazil with a sock ball. Oops. Pele kept playing soccer. Pele joined a soccer club called Santos Football Club when he was 15 years old. One year later, he joined the Brazil national soccer team. In the year 1958, soccer World Cup final was between Brazil and Sweden. Pele was on the Brazil team. At 17 years old, he became the youngest player to play the World Cup Finals. At seven, I mean, Brazil won five to two. This World Cup win was the greatest achievement for Brazil. Through Pele, Brazilians learned to love themselves. That is a big thing. Pele became more and more famous. Every mother wanted Pele as a son. Every girl wanted Pele as a boyfriend. Everybody wanted Pele as a neighbor. Everybody wanted, every boy wanted Pele as a brother. Everybody got out on the streets of Brazil screaming for Pele. Brazil's soccer team won again in the 1962 World Cup soccer. They lost in the finals in 1966, and they won again in 1970. 1970 was the last year Pele played World Cup soccer. In 1964, Brazil had a military coup. A military coup is an illegal, violent taking of government power by part of an army. In 1968, the entire country was shut down. Pele focused on his soccer. Brazil was under a cruel military rule and many times locked down between 
1964 to 1985. It was a very difficult time for the people of Brazil. Their win in soccer and Pele's performance gave them hope for a better future. In 1969, Pele had scored his thousandth goal. Pele scored 1,279 goals in international soccer and club soccer. Pele played for the Santos Club from 1956 to 1970 and New York Cosmos from 1975 to 1977. I love and play a lot of sports. I also love, like many great players and champions, but Pele is one of my favorites because even after he was done playing soccer, he cares a lot about helping children and removing poverty and teaching children a love of soccer and inspiring everyone that anyone can achieve anything only if they believe. I want to thank Miss Clausen and Miss Hogan for letting me choose Pele for my Unheard Perspectives topic. I learned a lot more about Pele. I also got to watch the movie on Netflix about Pele with my mom twice. I loved making the storyboard on Wixie and learning how to make the Google slide using templates. I want to show you the Pele air punch, but don't try this at home. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I, uh, <clears throat> Excellent presentation, Ion. <clears throat> First of all, your excitement uh, in presenting this is contagious. And like some of your classmates wearing the outfit that kind of goes along with your presentation was an excellent choice. Um, you gave an excellent presentation. Uh, you, you kind of captivated the audience uh, with your presentation. Um, you kind of went above and beyond to get information about Pele, and that is very evident in your presentation. I love that you apply different pieces of technology uh, in your slides using storyboard, using the slides carnival, you kind of, um, took a lot of what you've been learning and applied it here to this presentation. Um, and you know what? Your presentation was like you were telling a story. It was, it was very, very well done. You gave us a, a kind of a history lesson, taught us about Pele, and I really also love the quote you included about what success is, the perseverance, the hard work, the loving what you do. Um, I, I love that as well. Uh, your slides were very nice, very well done. We congratulate you. I wanted to ask you um, how researching about Pele and, and all that he has done, the soccer, yes, that's, that's pretty big, right? But he's done so much more than that for his country. Um, he's such a positive role model and, and went beyond just soccer in his life. How has that impacted you? Um, so that he never makes excuses and you should never make excuses when you do stuff. So, wow. We could put that on a billboard. And anyone can wow. achieve anything only if they could believe. Love that. I love that. He kind of taught that to Brazil, didn't he? Such a great positive effect on that country. Like he kind of rallied them together with, with his soccer skills. Love that. You did a great job. Miss Azarella. Miss Hogan, you took all my talking points. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ion, you did a fantastic job. Um, this is so exciting for me because so many of my former students are here. So I was Ion's one of Ion's teachers in first grade. So this is so exciting. Um, I loved that quote you had at the end about how he said success is no accident, it's hard work, and so many other things. I think any of the people that you guys have studied could have said that quote. That was fantastic. Um, your slides were great. You know, they were really, not only were they really informative, but they were also visually interesting to look at too. So that was great. 
Um, I learned so much. I thought I knew a lot about Pele, but I learned, like, the one fact that was really interesting to me was that when he started to play soccer as a child, he used a ball made out of socks. Like, how creative and how amazing that that's what he started with and to become the superstar that he is today. So, great job. Well done. Nice job. And also, that picture when I showed you the ball... That was the actual ball he played with. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Uh, any students from Group B have any questions for Ion? Robel. Uh, what's the last slide? It's really a comment. I just really liked how you showed us how to do yeah, bunch. this pump in. I really liked how you said, don't try this at home. That's right. That was just funny to me. Mm -hmm. High energy. High energy, Ayan and Hannah. It's kind of like a comment. But I like how he knew, like, what he knew how to pronounce his real name. <laughs> It looks hard. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. Great job, Ayan. We I celebrate you today. Name a lot. Good job, Ayan. Mm -hmm. All right, we have one more. Christelle. Good job. We can't wait for your presentation. <laughs> 